Is that, uh, I got three. Can I have one in the back? doing today good good yeah so my name is vesper i'm going to show you guys the next generation of android auto in this bmw i7 so as you guys already know android auto is available in millions of vehicles today right and more and more vehicles including this bmw are capable of um, fast pair and also wireless connectivity but the first thing you guys will notice with this updated android auto feature is the redesign so it actually allows you to easily toggle between apps instead of having to switch through the app panel right so you always have that multi-window to really keep your eyes on the road and bring the best of android auto to your to your vehicle what's great about this too is you can toggle back and forth or you can go into full screen oh. it is optimized for any display so whether you have a wide screen like this or more of a portrait display it's optimized to work on any display right so let's say we want to go ahead and commute to work the great thing about this is i can simply just tap on here and I can go ahead and navigate to my location. You'll notice that I have smart suggestions that show up in the corner now as well too. So I can actually share my ETA. Who do you want to share your ETA to a contact? With? Sure. Letting Jennifer White know you'll be there in about 15 minutes. Yep. So they get a message letting me know that I'm on the way. What's great about this too is um, I'm I can still navigate, focus on the road. But now let's say I get a message from a contact, right? So. I can go ahead and navigate, or I can go ahead and send a message. It's supposed to say hi. Uh, my typing is terrible today. Uh, but the great thing is you'll get notifications in that upper right-hand corner. And you can do things like smart replies. I can swipe it away too. Um, but you'll get things like missed call reminders and uh, important notifications. Another great thing about this is there's more and more optimized apps coming to here to be able to chat with friends and family. So whether you're using things like the dialer or WhatsApp, you can actually do that as well, right? So I can simply go into the dialer here and then I can actually pick a contact and I can call via the dialer or even WhatsApp now, right? Very cool. So we'll go back out of here. And then you guys like music and podcasts? All right. So what's great about this too is you now have a beautiful redesign for the music because this is important. If you're listening to music, you want something to match it so you get album, um, album cover art. But you can go ahead and play music as well too. But if you don't know what to play, you can always just look at recommendations. Yeah, so much easier for that as well too. Simply just swiping on it will actually show you media recommendations. Yep. And so that's really a major update to Android Auto. Well, what's great about this is this update is available as of today. today. So on Android devices, you will be able to access this update already. Yeah. Yeah, but that does conclude the demo for for the updates to Android Auto. And again, this is about bringing the redesigned um, version of Android Auto and the best of Android to your vehicle. functions um, can we use in this display well uh, you mean in terms of windows mm -hmm. it'll always be the two that will be on that you'll have on here but obviously um yeah so the main thing is that for example if i go into con my, my dialer then i can have my navigation still up as well right so yeah and then you can always toggle between two easily so that way if you're navigating somewhere you don't want your map to disappear right <laughs> What's the difference between this one and the system in the Volvo? Yeah. So this is bringing your and connecting your Android device to your vehicle, whereas that actually has Android Auto built in. Mm -hmm. So it's actually built into the vehicle. So having Google built into the car, mm -hmm. um, so that's what makes the two different. So that one is called the uh, Google Automotive, or no? So that one's actually um, having Google built into the vehicle. Yeah, just built in. Oh. Yeah, so mm -hmm. built in. yeah. So like Google Assistant's built into there. You don't need your phone actually to access that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Can also send tech, uh, text mm -hmm. when you're driving by with voice. Yes. Mm. Yeah. What did you guys think? Mm. Very cool, right? Yeah, a lot of nice updates. I think that having the multi window is a big one because mm. it lets people really focus on the road mm. and not have to toggle between apps. You can easily just go through here, 
that full screen functionality is amazing as well too. I think this is my favorite, is going with full screen. All we have to do is just bring the smartphone in mm -hmm. the car. Correct. Yep. Oh. Yeah, and then um, obviously it would need a compatible vehicle, but you can always find that on android.com slash auto slash compatibility. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you don't have to connect with the cable or anything? Correct. You can just bring it in? Yep, yeah, because this, uh, for example, like the phone's actually connected to the vehicle wirelessly. Mm. Yeah, at initial setup, you would have to use Bluetooth to get it paired up, but once you're done, it's always going to connect when you enter the vehicle. This map, map, map feature is also new. Uh, being, well, um, Android Auto, I mean, you always have the maps, but the, the main thing is being able to go widescreen, mm -hmm. but have that split screen multifunction.